It is nice to see you again, friend. I find the accommodations in this city to be most pleasing. I can't help but imagine that Zer would have taken great delight in this place. I think of him often. Thank you. 
the pieces begin to fall into place. With the king's aid, we shall assemble a force worthy of Meridia's blessing. Small groups have trickled in since your departure. The warriors inside seem to be under the protection of the knight Darian, an exceptional fellow, brave to a fault and devoted to lost causes. Cadwell found them in the wilds. Your nagging is becoming more annoying than my persistent rash. We finally have a secure base. To go back outside without a plan is even too foolhardy for me. You want us to hide behind these walls? To leave our comrades to die while you sip wine and lounge about? You have no honor, Knight. Don't lecture me about honor, Elf. You have no idea what I've seen or what I've gone through. My apologies for that display. The whole rash comment. Just a figure of speech, of course. So, I suppose you know more about this place than any of us. Like where I can get a decent drink? A safe haven, eh? I didn't really expect to see cheerful flowers and clear water anywhere in this dark realm. I assumed we were walking into untimely and painful deaths. Glad to see I was wrong this one time. I couldn't let you go off and save the world all by yourself, could I? Not with just these fighters' guild braggarts. Besides, there was a portal. How could I not step through and see what was on the other side? That's a good question. I heard that Captain Alfari was killed shortly after we were scattered. I was hoping to find another officer here, but no such luck. An Iliad? I thought they were all, you know, dead. Of course, this is a Daedric Prince's plane. I really need to stop being surprised by such revelations. I have a feeling that won't be the strangest thing I find out before this is all over. Attend me, soldiers. We have a war to win, and time grows short. What in Ariel's name is this? Who are you? So that's the last Iliad, huh? I thought he'd be more... dusty. Isn't that what happens when elves get really, really old? Shut it, you fop. Who's in charge of this group? Step forward and address me. Then allow me to rectify that. I shall lead you. We shall recover your comrades and complete your mission. If that does not work for you, your services are no longer needed. I don't know who you are, but you aren't Fighters Guild. You have no authority over us. Do you challenge me, then? Do you want me to kill you to prove my combat prowess to your companions? I wouldn't necessarily mind seeing that. He is kind of annoying. How can you expect us to lay down our lives for someone we never met? Trust is earned on the battlefield. If you want to survive, if you want to win this, you must trust me. Allow me to explain why you need my... We shall work this out. I understand your reservations. But with my leadership, the Fighters Guild will help us win this war. I do not expect this group to blindly trust me. That would be foolish. I plan to instill them with confidence so that when the others arrive, they will follow me without question. For now, I shall speak with each soldier here. Tell them what I think we should do and how we should do it. Perhaps listen to their opinions. To rush into battle with no allegiance is to command a unit that is already defeated. Continue to amass our forces until we have enough troops. Then we meet in council and plan our attack. The chasm to the north protects Morlog Bar's inner sanctum. We must cross it and confront the prince if we hope to save Nern. Well, the king certainly doesn't lack confidence. I can appreciate that. Might put our friend here in his place. 
That'd be delightful to see. I think there are a lot of good soldiers out there who need our help. I also know that if we just charge out there with no plan, we're as good as dead. I'm always eager to rescue a fair maiden or two, but not at the cost of everyone's life. I refuse to leave our guildmates to rot in the wilds of this wicked place. I don't care about the dangers. How would you feel if it were you still out there? Wouldn't you want us to come and find you?
I arrived with a few other wizards, Conjuration Masters. We helped open the portal to Cold Harbor. Unfortunately, we didn't arrive where we expected. A defensive countermeasure, I think. Molag Baal's forces were upon us in an instant. They were captured by Daedra, led by Judge Zivan. In the confusion, I managed to slip away. I've been scouting around in scam form ever since. The mages are on trial inside the Hall of Judgment. I could hear Judge Zivan shouting at them. We must help them. A magical barrier shields the entryway to the Hall. It's powered by elemental crystals. We must destroy the crystals and collect a key to open the gate. You must hurry. Daedric justice can be swift. Collect the gate key from the coffer to the north, and destroy the three crystals to bring down the barrier. There's one crystal in each tower. Meet me near the Hall of Judgment's entrance when you're done. I'll continue scouting until then. Major's Guild Warlock and Master Conjurer at your service. I'm an expert on the Plains of Oblivion, so I was an obvious choice to undertake this mission. I was raised on the Shivering Isles, so I am intimately familiar with Oblivion. A trick I picked up made it easier to get around the Shivering Isles. I was using it to scout the area when I saw you approaching. Some consider my methods unorthodox, but the results speak for themselves. I certainly wasn't captured by the Daedra. Why? Nothing gets past you, does it? Though I was born on your world, I grew up in oblivion. It gives me a rather unique perspective that the Mage's Guild often makes use of. Judge Zivan has them on trial in the Hall of Judgment. From what I've been able to overhear, it isn't going well for them. To get inside, we need to bring down that barrier. Then the Mages and I can get back to the mission that brought us here. The three elemental crystals, yes. But more than that, we also need a key to open the locked gate. I saw them place the gate key in a guarded coffer in the northern section of the ruins.
It's good to have Raynor back here with me. I... I don't know what I'd do without him. Just to see him examining maps and thinking up his next device. It makes me really appreciate how far we've come. A secure vault makes for a confident heart.
Good to see you. Do your trading. Strange looks from your people. I expected nothing less. They still think we are monsters. We will prove otherwise. We will show them the power of the Lamias and how our aid will help win this battle. Welcome to the Shining Star, my friend. You won't find a more warm and inviting place in all of Cold Harbor. There's a small number of us, and we've learned to work well together. Plus, the groundskeeper does her best to make sure we have fresh food and water. Even that strange fellow Cadwell comes by once in a while with supplies. Friendly sort. Thinks he's a knight or something. He's a bit crazy, but otherwise he's mostly harmless. Mostly. Hurry to the Cloudy Dregs Inn. Our situation grows perilous, and Azura is anything but patient.
My friend, this table is for the worthy, the bold. And this one thinks you don't look like either. This is a gathering for Undaunted, and you're no Undaunted. This room is for the Undaunted Stranger, Undaunted only. The city has been empty for so long. It's good to finally see a new customer in here. Why, this is... You know, I can't remember the name of this place. It's an imperial city, though. Or it was, before it was pulled into this dreadful land. You there. How would you like to do something worthwhile? Well...
supplies around. Anything interesting happened to you lately? This one was three paces wide and eating a guar. You look capable. I could use some help. If you aren't afraid of a ruthless, dastardly scoundrel. Let me start again. I represent Cyrodiilic Collections, a society dedicated to finding, retrieving, and restoring lost treasures of the Argonians. Our society consists of my sister, myself, and a few associates. We've been preparing an expedition to return the antiquities we've recovered to Merkmire, deep in the heart of Black Marsh. Unfortunately, our competition has become... aggressive. One and the same, Margus Darius. He's a looter of history who cares only about profit. He was a member of our society until he stole our research and disappeared. I need you to infiltrate the nearby Outlaw's Refuge and find out what Margus is up to. While I've never visited an Outlaw's Refuge myself, I have it on good authority that all manner of ne'er-do-wells frequent such places. Scoundrels, black marketeers, and smugglers of ill repute. Just the sort of company that Margus keeps. Talk to a few more connected rapscallions that conduct business down there. I know a few of them by reputation. Look for Grethal, an information broker. Urzashi, an antiquities black marketeer. 
and a Shundir, a historic treasure smuggler. Margus originally approached us as a friend and benefactor. I honestly thought he wanted to help return the lost Argonian treasures to their rightful owners. He worked with us for a time, but it wasn't long before he revealed his true colors. Margus wants the antiquities for himself. This competition has taken a violent turn. He has a brutal temper and some skill at spellcasting. Makes me fearful for my associates. Anyway, I think Margus is especially interested in pre-Duskfall relics. Duskfall refers to the slow decline of the great Zoxlil civilization. Ages ago, the Argonians built pyramids called Zonmirs and were much more advanced. Most of our research deals with the more dangerous relics of that period. No, not specifically. But even a hammer can be used for good or ill. Margus seeks one of the pre-Duskfall relics, I'm sure of it. I just need to figure out which one before something terrible occurs. With your help, we can avert a disaster. I may be new to the Argonian antiquities trade, but Margus and his cronies know me all too well. They turn me away or stick a dagger in my back before the door closes behind me. I need someone without any ties to Cyrodiila collections for this. I have other agents that need to be supervised and coordinated. Marcus has already beaten us to a few choice antiquities. I need to make sure that trend doesn't continue. I also have a few leads of my own to follow up on. I'll see you back here. We're historic investigators. We research and seek out antiquities stolen from the Argonian homeland. When we find them, we return them to Black Marsh. Well, that's the plan. We have a few more items to collect before we make our first journey. Certainly the most important ones. We do need to raise enough gold to finance our operations, though. We'll hold on to a few items to eventually open a museum in Black Marsh. A place where these cultural treasures can be enjoyed by everyone. My sister Falmia became fascinated with Argonian history during our time at the university. When she returned home, her stories intrigued me and I became interested in the topic as well. I can't wait to join her in Merkmire. As soon as we recover the last of the Argonian antiquities on my list, we'll organize an expedition to that region of Black Marsh. My sister's gone on ahead to set up a base camp and smooth away with the locals. We plan to return most items to their rightful owners. We chose Merkmire, since our research suggests the majority of the items on our list originate there. Finding the rightful owners may require additional expeditions in the area, though.
trial is over. Judge Zivan found my companions guilty and sentenced them to death. They were taken to the cells below the hall while preparations are made for the execution. I'm working on a distraction to cover our escape. Did you find the key? An excellent suggestion. There's no time to waste. Let's get inside and free the others. I thought this was going to be boring. The guilty are drawn to us like torch bugs. Come and be judged, Moses. Grab that key on the table and open these cages. Well, what are you waiting for? Open the rest of the cages, if you please. The trial was a farce. They just wanted to make us squirm. Judge Zivin went on and on about fairness and equitable treatment, but he decided we were guilty from the start. Got to let us out. Great rescue, but now what? Do you have a plan, or are we making this up as we go along? Thank you. This one thought we were done for after Judge Zivin sentenced us to death. How do we get out of the Hall of Judgment? They're not going to let us simply walk out of here. Malkur? Well, why didn't you say so? Tarami wondered what happened to him. But this one has had enough of this place. Let's get out of here. They cast a shield spell on the gate. We're trapped. We'll deal with the gate. Just keep them away from us until we're done. You have been judged! Well, you won't escape. You'll never escape my judgment, mortals! Long enough. I'm ready to die now. Ah. 
penalty is death. Version I set up is working. Hurry before the Daedra notice and come after us. fought well, didn't we? I think we might just have a chance at turning this disaster into a successful operation. We've opened a portal to the city. Feel free to use it if you want. We're in your debt. Without your help, the others would still be locked away, or worse. We'll get to safety and begin stabilizing the portals to Nern right away. We fought well. We've opened a portal. All right. Let's head out. We've got portals to stabilize, you know. Thanks to you, we were able to perform the task we were sent here to do. We've opened stable portals to Nern. Now we can get supplies and more forces into the Hollow City. I'd probably still be out there skulking about in scam form if not for you. Tarami can't thank you enough for getting us out of that predicament. We owe you one. It took a bit of work, but we finally stabilized the portals. Our people aren't getting scattered hither and yon every time they travel to Cold Harbor anymore. At least, not as long as they're traveling to the Hollow City. The city is coming along nicely, don't you think? I'm not sure if we would have made it this far if not for your help. Thank you.
ready to take the fight to Molog Ball. Well, as ready as I'll ever be, I suppose.